Hi Stampers! I'm Jill Olson and I'm here to tell you about some really cute treat ideas for the holidays coming up. And in our occasions catalog on page 14 and 15 is the suite called How Sweet It Is. And I'm going to show you the designer series paper, this little treat cup right here. For $8.50 you get 10 of these and it's food safe so they just fit on really snug like so and I'm going to show you the ribbon. Also the framelit dies coordinate with the designer series paper and the stamp set. So let me go ahead and show you. Here is the designer series paper. Beautiful colors. Seeing the designs on them. The framelits will coordinate with actually cutting these out on your big shot. So I love these colors. Beautiful and they scream Easter too. So let me show you what we came up with. Before Easter I made these right here. Today calls for something sweet. This also till um, Sunday is more than words and it's a photopolymer stamp set and it coordinates with the celebration that's going on right now. So a lot of these words go with things that you can get for free. So you want to make sure to get this stamp set before the end of March. So if you look, so I used these three color combinations. So you notice that there I mixed and matched them, but it's all from that sign of series paper, right? Like that. So I put cotton candy in there and gave them out and they're really fun. So let me give you a tip on how to actually make this around. You can go ahead and take one treat cup and actually cut off this top and the bottom and then you can actually make your own pattern. Here is one that's already been cut and I just traced it on the designer series paper. At first I was putting adhesive all the way around it and you don't really have to do that so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this. So just set it down like that and just wrap it all the way around and then just adhere it to the adhesive that's already there. See, you don't have to have adhesive like all the way around, just at the end it will save, I made like a hundred and hundred of these, so it will save a lot of time if you just use one thing of adhesive right there, and I use the tear and tape. And let me show you how for Easter you can do the same thing. Here is one done, and we just took a three-fourths of an eight strip of the six by six little gingham paper and just used brads right here and made it a basket. So this right here, I'm just going to um, slide this down so you can see what I did. So I just put a slit on one side and a slit on the other and went ahead and you slide that together. And that's how you get that look of just putting it together instead of actually using adhesive. So that's how you get that look. And then this basket, the same thing is just we just um, glue dotted that on, but the same colors. I love this double-sided satin ribbon. Granny Apple Green and Coastal Cabana. It's beautiful. It works perfect with this designer series paper. Here's another one, the stripes. And it just all looks like Easter. Okay, this is just a little itty bitty basket and I'll show you how to do that. All you do is you take a six by six of the gingham gala paper and I scored it every two inches, turned the paper, scored, scored, and then what I did is I went ahead and cut into the center of the scoring on both sides. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold it like this, fold all of the pieces in, and you're just going to put it together like a regular box that you're making. So I'm just going to fold these two in like that and you'll glue that and then you fold this one up. So that's how you make the, the base of your box and then just a three quarter inch on the actual paper itself. That's what makes your little handle. So that's how you make this one and I just used the Just For You in another stamp set in the Dear Doily. I loved the way it looked with the fun little things and these are just those little chirps. What are they called? Peeps. <laughs> chirps. chirps. <laughs> those are the chirps. No, the peeps. Okay, so that's what we just put in those. But these are just fun, and you can put a golden egg in here with some money. I, I can look up a lot of ideas. Or if you have an Easter dinner, you can always use these as place 
cards and then put their name on it too and with a goodie in it. This right here I got the idea this is those sour cream packets and you just take your six by six piece of designer series paper and you're going to glue it like this and then once you're done gluing it you'll glue this side down and then you'll glue this side down and that's really how you make those and I just took a strip of designer series paper and made it kind of like it's the greenery on the top of the carrot and then put some goodies in that. So hopefully you've enjoyed seeing these fun little treat ideas. If you go to stampandjill.com you'll see some of the photos and the tips and tricks for these ideas. Remember celebration is over the end of March and so is the coordination that goes with it. So make sure to get your orders in before the end of March and we'll see you next time on Watch It Weekly Wednesday.